In this video, we are going to implement authentication with the help of Laravel UI package. And uh, the Laravel UI package is a, sim is a very simple authentication package or a simple authentication ISCA folding built on the Bootstrap CSS framework. So let's, um, so first of all, let's uh, create a new Laravel application. Go to the destination in which you want to create your project now if you have already created your laravel application so you can just easily escape this step i'm going to install the laravel application with the help of composer so composer create project laravel slash laravel and the project name i'm giving the name auth app you can give any name you want press enter now here you can see our laravel application is installing in our machine now our application has been installed in our machine let's open it up in our code editor i have visual studio code you can open it up in your code editor that you are using so here you can see our auth app in our visual studio now first of all let's run this application with php artisan serve okay the artisan spelling is not right artisan now here you can see our application is in the browser and whenever you install a fresh laravel application you will always see this kind of page so uh, let's install a laravel ui package in our application and uh, if and here you can see in this page uh, we do not have any link related to the login and registration so when we add laravel ui authentication in our application we will uh, the login and registration link uh, will automatically add it in this page now let's open the code editor and let's open new terminal now the first command you need to run in order to install the laravel ui is the composer require laravel slash ui now this command will install all the dependencies related to the laravel ui package now here you can see the um, laravel ui package has been installed in our application first of all let's clear out the terminal now the second command we need to run is the is the php artisan ui bootstrap now this command will install the basic scaffolding the basic bootstrap scaffolding if you uh, do not want bootstrap scaffolding or if you want view scaffolding so you can just write here view or if you want react in your react scaffolding in your project so you can just write react here but i like to add bootstrap scaffolding so let's run php artisan ui bootstrap now here you can see bootstrap scaffolding installed successfully now let's run npm install now after running the npm install let's run npm run dev now the npm run dev will build the application build our laravel application so here you can see we have done with all of the command related to the bootstrap uh, scaffolding okay let's open a new terminal now 
after installing the bootstrap uh, scaffolding we need to install the auth scaffolding so let's run php artisan ui bootstrap and then double dash auth now i write here bootstrap if you installed view scaffolding or react scaffolding so you need to write here view or react so but we, we but i installed the bootstrap scaffolding in our project so i need to write bootstrap here so let's run this command Now here you can see the bootstrap scaffolding installed successfully and the authentication scaffolding generated successfully and if i go to the resources and there's then views then we can see the auth and the layouts folder and the home.blade.php file has been added in our uh, application automatically now let's run npm install again Now after running npm install, let's run npm run dev. Now here you can see our application has been compiled successfully. Now let's open another terminal and let's run our application. So we have installed the uh, Laravel UI authentication in our application. Now let's run our application and check out the uh, our application that the authentication has been added or not. Now let's if I refresh this page, and uh, so uh, I I can see that login and registration link will automatically add it in the top right corner of this page. Now let's reload this page. Now here you can see the login and registration link has been added automatically in this page. Now if I go to the register, I can see the register page here that is generated automatically with the help of Laravel UI package and the bootstrap and the, all the design and styling uh, with the help of bootstrap. And if I go to the login, I can see the login page. Now. Uh, we need to, uh, in order to register a user or login a user, we need to connect our database. Uh, if I register a user here, here you can see we got an error that is unknown database Laravel. So we need to connect the database in our application. So let's go to the localhost PHP my admin. I'm using MySQL. Let's create new database. And the database will be my db create here you can see the my db database has been created now let's open the project and uh, go to the dot env file and in the line 10 you can see we have our database connections credentials now at the line 13 let's give the database name my db and save this file now after giving the database name let's open your terminal a new terminal and let's migrate all the migration with the help of php artisan migrate now this command will migrate all of the tables all of the migrations in our database and if i go to the database my db and refresh the database uh, my db so here you can see we have all the tables here with the help generated with the help of migrations and here you can see the user table that is empty now but if i refresh the application and go to the register and let's register a fake user password will be one two three four five six seven eight confirm will be one two three four five six seven eight now, uh, now let's register a user now here you can see our our user has been registered successfully and we have we are in our dashboard now let's log out this user 
and let's log in again the, the email is now if I refresh the user table I can see the register user and the email is x e k x e now this is a dummy email and the password is one two three four five six um, uh, one two three four five six seven eight now let's log in and here you can see we have our registration and login working with the help of laravel ui so i hope that this video will helpful for you uh, for implementing the authentication with the help of laravel ui